Hello guys from OpenGate, everything is fine with you? With us, everything is okay? Guys, we came here today with this girl who cracked her hoof. Actually, she lost a good part of her hoof. You know, really broke, in fact. So, uh, now, let's take her to Renato. Guys, this animal was limping a lot the day we got here. And the, the animal's improvement is visible. Guys, take a look. Renato, do you want to share a position about what is happening, whether it is positive or negative? Oh, the hoof has grown a lot, more than expected. It's been about five months now, so it's grown a lot more than I thought it could go, which is great too. Well, she is walking practically without limping, and also she learned how to walk with it, and that until the full hoof formation. That's part of the way. We even have another video on the channel of a whole black horse banning its hoof due to the lack of pressure and here it receives the full load of weight. That's it. Well, it's look, but uh, this way the hoof is very crooked. You have to be patient until the hoof grows and supporting that part of the hoof on the ground so that later I can correct this crooked part of the hoof. Guys, uh, this part here was already up here and has already gained two fingers of growth. The pressure, uh, it's cracking this part here that we're not talking about to the side. We're going to do the whole thing and we will see how it's going to look, how she's going to react. I thought maybe before the horse hole, but we're observing and seeing this. We believe that the cast would be better because she seems to play a lot. And she scratched herself on the fence, so if we put a horse hole on risk of it turning off and maybe break more, it would be bigger. But the idea would be put the horse hole in Z, you know, because it takes the spot of the hoof and it runs all the hoof, decreasing a little the pressure on the side by throwing it more to the side center of the hoof. But Maybe she can get stangled up in the fence and rips off this horse hole and it rips off the part of the hoof and we're going to have make it even more complicated. Because, guys, this is the hoof before Renat starts working. So, you can see, guys, as we passed it to you, it broke a lot. We passed the position to the owner so that he no longer uses the animal for work or for any type of situation. And leave the animal in the pasture you know, calmer eating and drinking, and that's what it's been done, you know, the owner is strictly following what we asked him to do, and we are coming here to evaluate whenever possible, and, you know, and passing on the position of how it is to us, and as I said in the first video, this animal is not from our city, so we come here with, you know, our returning around uh, every... 15 days more or less, you know, to be able to observe this animal and the owner is accompanying and letting us know how it is. So, the role of the owner in this matter is fundamental, mainly guys, because, you know, we have many animals that we take care of and, well, we often don't get it at the ideal frequency. So the presence of the owner is fundamental so that he is always watching. And in this case, the owner is very attentive and, you know, is favoring the animal healing and getting, you know, really cool. It's really getting really cool. Let's remove the other one. Well, this here is what we needed to be doing, so we should not do more than that. 
at least this part of the hoof because it is almost connecting with the inside part. Just a little bit of the hoof wall is missing and well in this way we believe that it will be fine then for what it has evolved. I think three more moms we finish this hoof. The issue of timing is fundamental in this treatment. Uh, we do the procedure and we wait for the time to see the reaction of the animal and the hoof and you know in this case it is being a positive case as we said it may have it, it may wave a little guys it may stay a little out of shape but our goal is to give comfort to the animal so it's not a statics so it's one thing at a time we're going to check and solve the problem of this this hoof with the healthy one we can work on the static part and the internal part has you know several holes it is very dry i will not touch here because if in the next hoof and I observe that there is an abscess or bacteria in this situation, you know, I prefer entering the medicine and leaves it closed, similar to what the bovine trimming people do. And, you know, also solves a lot in that part because if you need, um, if, you, if you need the hoof because the last, I, uh, we're going to have a better result and faster it will grow. That's it, guys. Another hoofing of this girl in here and an update for you guys. So, everybody ask about our cases that we're dealing with and, well, we record and pass on an updates and show you how the treatment and the procedure is going on. Well, in this case, as I said, the owner helps a lot, what's fundamental, and, well, she is reacting, guys. So, a new hoof is coming, showing you that there is no need, guys, no need to discard the animal when this situation happens. You know, guys, that's really important. After all, we have already heard of cases in which animals are discarded by their owners. Guys, and this is not necessary, so help us by sharing this video to reach all the owners, you know, and that there is no need, and it's necessary what? Patience and care is needed in all of this to solve this situation. The owner of this mare talking about sacrifice because he won't heal. He spoke, ah, this won't heal, and that's what he had commented. So, there is now approximately five months later, and much better. There is Renato having his other leg trim, and we're going to release this girl here. And time will tell us what will become of this animal and most likely everything will be fine i hope you enjoyed this video stay with god everyone and see you next time god willing our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard